it's not uncommon for women to be told after a mammogram that they have dense breasts. This is more than a casual observation, but it is a common one. About 40% of women who have mammograms have dense breasts. Density is important. It's important for two reasons. First of all, the more dense the breast tissue, the more difficult it is for the radiologist to see what's going on in the breast. So there is this masking effect uh, where small cancers can hide within the density of the glandular breast tissue and its uh, supporting tissues that make for the uh, density. But an additional and quite separate risk for women with dense breasts is that extremely dense breasts particularly uh, are in and of themselves a risk for breast cancer quite apart from the masking effect. Um, for women with dense breasts in particular, breast tomosynthesis, sometimes called 3D mammography, is really beneficial. And for women uh, getting mammograms, an extra almost three cancers per 1,000 women undergoing mammograms might be discovered thanks to breast uh, tomosynthesis. So this is an important thing, especially for women with very dense breasts. Breast density comes in four categories. Uh, the least dense breasts are fatty replaced breasts, which we would see typically in older women or women with uh, elevated body mass indices. Um, the next up the scale of density would be scattered fibroglandular densities. Next would be heterogeneously dense breasts. And at the most dense extreme are uh, extremely uh, dense breasts. For people with extremely dense breasts, breast MRI is a very uh, sensitive way to look for cancers. And for women with dense breasts and a family history of breast cancer, current recommendations are that MRI be considered in addition to mammography. For women who have dense breasts uh, without a family history, very frequently the radiologist will recommend ultrasound evaluation in addition to the mammograms uh, in an attempt to identify small lesions that might be masked.